Hi you guys and welcome back to It's Andrea and Michelle Sis. Hashtag It's Drea's Babies. Anyways, hey babies. Um, So I got like the seasoning cabinet already like broken down because who got time to be sitting here watching me just breaking down this seasoning cabinet. Now we did this yesterday. It stayed that way. It's still a cute. It's still a cute. But today we got the seasoning cabinet and I'm a I'm a hoarder for seasoning. Like I love seasoning. Um so but I'm trying to um bring my seasoning cabinet down to a minimal because I just want everything to look really nice, really neat. Um I did order some seasoning containers, um, like the little mason jars off of Amazon, but they did not show up today. So I got until Monday, uh tomorrow or Tuesday when it will show up um but we gotta keep pushing because we can't just be waiting for those those little mason jars for our seasoning we gotta keep pushing we gotta keep moving I literally been off work for about an hour I rest I relaxed and I did so much needed you know things um while I was resting and relaxing and so now it's time to clean something so why it's light outside and um, I don't have to cut on any lights in the house. I can go ahead and go ahead and start fixing this cabinet up, making it look decent. And these noodles need to come out of here. You guys, how cute is these little containers here? These are so really cute. I think I got them from um sure I got them from Target, but I think I got them from no, I think I got them from Targets. Yeah, I'm sure I got them from Targets. Um, because I normally get most of my organization bins and stuff from Target. And I need to venture out into the container store because there's one like right down by my job. But girl, it just seems too out the way for me. So um I'll just continue to get them at Targets because Targets always have the best organization stuff so these are all my seasonings here I would go through a haul with you guys on what kind of seasons I have but girl sis bruh that's gonna take too long tonight I am cooking um I am cooking green beans corn and just instant mashed potatoes if you want to make those potatoes just really quick you want to make those potatoes a little thicker um, and they taste like just regular mashed potatoes add one or two potatoes in there and they will taste like regular potatoes and then I got some Louisiana chicken fry that I'm gonna put on a chicken and then here's the chicken that I have in the sink already um, so I'm pulling up my little trash can y'all because we got to get some of these seasons up out of here okay so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do that this is gonna be a talk along because yeah y'all gotta see and gotta hear what's going on and what I'm doing now this kind of is like a little haul but this seasoning right here from Pat in the pot she's on TikTok. I definitely like to buy her seasonings um, from Louisiana um, she don't have like salt in them this one right here is the I think this is the fire hot one the spicy one um, so I got this one and then I got a regular one which is right here. I'm going to hold on to these because I use them on my chicken, my baked chickens and stuff like that. Also JJ's own um, dressings are really good. She's on TikToks too um, but her dressings is really good um, and her and Pat the Pot are friends so I just help support it like their businesses and stuff like that. You guys know my handy dandy Cajun seasoning what I'm going to do is put you guys down for just a quick second pull you guys up so y'all can see everything that I'm doing here and this is what I'm about to do because I, I, I learned this from my moms okay y'all I learned this from my moms so if you got a seasoning that is almost out like this one's almost out you can combine it with your other seasoning. It won't do anything to it. It's just the same seasoning. Um, it's just getting rid of containers, basically. So what I'm going to do is 
open this up and I hope that I can pull this off. Okay, there we go. Pull that off. And I'm not going to pull that one off. But what I'm going to do is just pour this, that season into this right here. Hopefully it doesn't get all over the stove. Whatever doesn't go in, then I'm fine because I got like four more of these because this is like what I say, my favorite, my favorite seasoning. My mom, she always been cooking with this. She always been cooking with Louisiana uh, seasoned sauce. So that extra can goes in the trash. And what I want to do is just kind of clean up these, clean up these seasonings. Clean up this seasoning, the top, because, girl, we don't we don't pay attention to stuff like that. We clean our houses and stuff, but we don't clean our season tops. We don't clean our toothbrush, uh, toothpaste um, container. None of that. We don't never do that. So I want to just clean that up. I'm gonna put all that over there. Um, I'll clean this up too. As I'm going, I'm cleaning, you guys, because I just feel like if I'm decluttering, I'm cleaning out the cabinet, then my um, seasonings. But I can't stop cleaning. Yes, I can stop cleaning because y'all just reminded me, hey, sis, you about to get a whole new seasoning kit here. A whole new seasoning like kit with jars and stuff. So why are you cleaning that? Um, so let's, yeah. So I got this Himalaya salt right here and this pepper. Unfortunately, the pepper, I can't take the top off to like put it inside of that because they are the same. They are the same uh, pepper grinders from Walmart, but you can't, yeah, you can't open them. So I'm just pretty much stuck with two until I'm done. So I've just been using this one a lot. So what I do is to keep myself using like just using the ones that are empty I sit them like on the cabinet so whenever I go to reach for that pepper grinder I won't use the uh, I won't reach for the new one I'll re always reach for the one that's sitting on the cabinet and just like this one the Himalaya saw is almost out I'll sit it on the cabinet because I want to go ahead and reach for reach for those um, I'm almost out of this taco seasoning. I'm pretty sure like this is a good thing to have on deck, but I really miss my packaging, um, my packaging, um, taco seasoning where I could just buy in the package. I normally know how to keep myself at a minimum of three or four taco packets and I'll put them in my little packet thing here, but this right here was really handy, but it just it's just too much space and there's some taco seasoning in there but I know that I'm not we're not gonna be having tacos anytime soon or we may be having I may keep this I may hold on to this and I think Monday we may be having like soft tacos or something like that so I'll keep this to Monday but the rest of it will just go so what I'll do with this since Monday we're gonna have soft tacos I'm just gonna leave this out here so that'll remind me, hey, go ahead and use that up. Now, I've been holding on to this. Why? I don't know. This is not like my favorite Xanarae's uh, Creole seasoning shake on the, I said shake on the flavor. But I don't like this. This this is nasty to me. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have like a flavor to it. It just, it's just bland. So, guess what? This right here. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to do anything with it. Or I should open it. And. Yeah. I should open it and just pour it in the trash like this. Because we don't even eat that. We don't even eat this. Like me and babe agree. Like some of the seasons in there. They got to go. So that's that. Um. And so, like, I have this almost new peppercorn thing right here, which it will go in the cabinet. I have a new Himalaya season salt that I can't even, like, I can't put in my grinder. So, I'm going to have to, like, 
eventually buy the grinder uh, for pepper and for uh, the sea salt but I have a whole new one of those um, then I have Parmesan that has went old because the color is not even a light Parmesan anymore so that goes in the trash this is my favorite you guys this is my favorite the roasted garlic and herb and I'm probably going to use some of this tonight so I'm going to keep this out whatever I don't use then I'll just keep out and just use it on something um, use it on something um, that I need for dinner like tomorrow I'll use the taco season and I'll use this just to try to use it all up I got dill weed really honestly I don't need it so it's going bye bye And then also I got this roasted garlic and herb, which what I can do is, since I got roasted garlic and herb, this is roasted garlic and herb, you know, this is Weber's, this is my comment. I'm going to just add them together because they taste the same. One's just a little redder and the other one is more greener. Just to... Um, or actually I can put this in here no I'm gonna keep that so yeah I can keep this a little long a little while longer if you have different herbs and stuff you can actually place those inside of your bigger containers just to make room just like this minced garlic that I got from Walmart sis like it ain't even nothing in there why is it in the cabinet <laughs> There's some garlic powder. I honestly kept this because I want to buy more of this. So I'm going to keep this on hand. I'm going to buy like two or three more um, when it's grocery shopping time. And then I'm going to trash this just to keep this on my mind. A friendly reminder. Or I could just write it down, which I'm going to just place it over here so that I can write it down. Um, I can write it down on my grocery list to buy. I got a whole thing of basil. Um that I'm keeping we got minced onion parsley and then I do have this barbecue sauce well it's not sauce but it's powder this you guys this is right here is really good on chicken like baked chicken it's so good even like pork chop if you eat pork chop I'm sure it will be really good on it so I'm gonna hold on to that this is the smokehouse maple one that I got and honestly I feel like the barbecue the maple will go together and nobody will t know the difference like they wouldn't so you just save yourself a whole bottle like a whole bottle there you go just mix it in it smells so good together and look it's a whole new bottle like a whole new bottle of seasoning and then I have celery salt here which I don't really use on anything but it's always good to have a little bit on hand and I'm running out of this oregano so what I'm gonna do with it because I don't know if you can see that uh, I don't know if you can see it right there but it's just a little bit in there so I'm gonna put it inside of the roasted garlic and herb or herbs because that's what it is, it's herbs, and you can mix it. So as you put stuff in there, it's just gradually, uh, gradually getting more stuff in there so I can keep that. Um, then I got some ground no neck. I use that for desserts, of course. Then we have some garlic powder. And I know I have this garlic powder right here but I love this one this is the Target's brand this is just something temporarily until I get that one um, and then I got some ground paprika which is really good on meats and stuff like that uh, to give the meat a good color now we're going into our like packaging stuff so you guys saw me take this onion powder out of the cabinet uh, earlier well yesterday um, but this is the onion powder I have some gravy mixes that I really need to um, use and I'll probably use like the pepper one tonight for the chicken because I love that one and then we use like sometimes 
if I'm in the mood, I'll make babe some uh, biscuit and gravy, which I haven't did in a while. And I'm probably, uh, I'm probably going to go um, to the store and get him some and make it for him. But it's so good. So I got, I'm a Pioneer fan. So I got their brown gravy and their country gravy and their country pepper gravy, which I'm going to have tonight. Um, so I'll keep those. We have some gravy mix here that I don't even use this McCormick and I'm really not too fond of McCormick gravy brown gravy like that it's not that good and the flavor is off even if I try to add flavor to it it's just something about it that I don't like so I just kept it in the cabinet because I thought that I would be using it um I did have some slow cook cooker savory pot roast that I'm going to keep the taco seasoning and then I have chicken taco seasoning um, make sure you're always looking at the date, y'all, because sometimes some dates can slip up on you with your seasonings and stuff like that. Um, and you definitely don't want to keep that. And also, I have these two that I got from Walmart. They're pot roast. I wasn't originally looking for that pork pot roast. I was just looking for a slow cooker, um, savory pot roast. So these right here, definitely in the trash. Don't worry, sis. I only paid, what, 50 one cents 50 cents for each one of them so just a dollar it's fine um they can go remember we're trying to get rid of space we're not trying to add up all the money we spent on this stuff we're just trying to get rid of space and trying to clean our life um and so i got more taco seasoning so guess what i got two i got two taco seasonings and then i have a chicken uh, taco seasoning so that's all I really need um, for me and babe and my son um, I got some brown mixed gravy from Walmart I haven't tried it yet I'm gonna hold on to that because I haven't tried their brown gravy do got some chili mix that I cannot wait to use and then I did get some Casa Marmita um, Baja fish tacos from Aldi I believe and it was disgusting so that goes in the trash and then I have some meatloaf uh, seasoning packet too as well that I'm going to be using really soon um, make sure if you have containers in your uh, cabinet you are washing them because as you can tell I, I haven't washed anything um, so I'll put that over here I kind of wanted to just start putting my seasonings inside like this Dollar Tree bin here that I got um because I was stashing my what was I stashing I was stashing like my flour and stuff in there but now that I have a lot of room to use um at the bottom I'm gonna just sort everything out and properly place everything inside of this bin so you just pretty much go through all your stuff and if I'm using if I'm going to be using this stuff like for next week then I'll put everything I'm using for next week on the top and then I will put whatever else I'm using at the bottom so next week I'm going to be having not chicken tacos but just original tacos even though I'm going to be using that taco seasoning, I love putting a lot of taco seasoning. So, I'm just going to put like at least one up there. Um, and then the other one in the back. And then also, I know I'm going to have meatloaf next week too as well. Because I want to cook a, a good dinner for Sunday. So, I'll put that behind that. And then, we're not going to have pot roast anytime soon. And I'm not going to be able to use that onion mix anytime soon. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff in. Ooh, girl, it's popping. It's popping. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And also, I need to find that meatloaf one that I just had because it somehow just got mixed in something here. Oh, here, right here. Oh, that's a pot roast. Um, what happened to it? Well, if I can't find it now, 
Yeah. Oh, it's right here behind it. So I put that in the front. I'm going to just turn this around because I want to be able to see what I have when I'm going in there. And then just put the top on it. And there you go. Like you just have a whole seasoning little jar there. And so I'm going to put that in the cabinet. Okay, so another thing that we have. Babe love his crushed red peppers. So that ain't going nowhere no time soon. I do have some honey that is old and I can get some more. So that's trash. I do have my grits. I wish I can find a, a little container for my grits, which I am on the hunt for. Then we have all these other seasonings. <laughs> I have some um, vanilla, which is for baking. And then I have this imitation vanilla, which is for baking. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because I do have another vanilla, I'm going to... I'm probably going to just mix these vanillas together, which I'm about to, because vanilla is vanilla. Vanilla make your stuff taste good anyway, so whether it's imitation, real, fake, whatever. Well, imitation is fake, so, but whether it's, you know, real, fake, whatever, it's still vanilla. And I have this one here. I'm going to actually dispose of that box that I just came out of. And I'll put those over there. Also, we have Weber's Flavor Bomb Burgers um, seasoning, which, you guys, when it says bomb, it's bomb. Like, trust and believe it. <laughs> it's really good. So, I'm going to put that over there as well. Then I have gotten some dry uh, active yeast that I'm not trashing. I finally found my other minced garlic from Walmart. Got to get some more of that. I did get some lemon extract from the store because I made a lemon pound cake which was really good. I got some chili powder. It's just it's so fun to just go through all of your seasoning because sometimes you just like you be like in the store you be like dang do I have that lemon pepper season? I don't think I had that lemon pepper season. This is just me. I don't think I had that lemon pepper season. Dang, I should have put that on my list whether I had it or not. Like, it's fun just to go through your cabinet and see what you have. Like, anytime you get ready to go to the store, and this is something new with me too. Anytime I get ready to go to the store now, I instantly go to my cabinets. I instantly, and I try to feed off, this just some little advice for my parents out there that, you know, is on a cheap budget like me. And try to make a meal for y'all. And you don't want to buy so much stuff, like, just like I go in my camera and I see some green beans, like I'm like, okay, we having green beans, corn, and chicken tonight because we got green beans on hand. Like if I didn't have the green beans and I had the chicken and all the rest of the stuff, then I know I, um, when I go to the store, I'm going to get to pick up the chicken. Or when I go to the store, I know that we don't have no season for the chicken, so I'm getting the chicken and the seasoning. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's how my mind frame is now since I'm cleaning and decluttering my house for 30 days, honey. Like, I'm look, I'm about to be saving because I used to go to the store all the time and buy I we have this on hand and I can go to the store and procrastinate and then all of a sudden this is in my basket and when I get to the house, I'm like, "Oh my goodness, we I got two of these." So now it's just time for us to Start watching what we have in our cabinets. But anyways, I got some of that lemon pepper seasoning. And then I also got some uh, bay leaves that's always stuck in the back. And then I got some Italian seasoning, which, which I can definitely put into the Weber's jar. Because remember, the Weber has garlic and herbs. And so we don't really need this extra jar. I mean, it's cute and all. But we don't need it. Let's just, you know, get rid of our jars. So that we can make room 
and it still looks like the seasoning the garlic seasoning like just with more extra like herbs in it and i love like like herbs and stuff on my chicken and stuff like that y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and wash these bins and um I don't know how that sticky stuff got on there. I guess because I'm not washing my stuff. I'm not washing my um, seasonings or anything. My seasoned bins, none of that. So I'm going to go ahead and wash those bins. I don't know if I'm going to put those bins in that cabinet. But I just feel like right now, even with this in here, there's not as much room. This is just a small pantry cabinet that I have and I don't want it to look sloppy because we still got this big old red pepper so what I'm gonna do is just take this out I feel like I can find another container for this the seasonings um and I'm probably not gonna put my seasonings in bins um I'm just gonna probably stack them in here and I'm gonna put that in the back <clears throat> and whatever seasoning I use the most I'll just bring to the front like my burger um, stuff and then also these right here like I just I like this already like I really do it seems very like put well organized and put together I'm gonna put my salts and stuff in the back because I know that I'm not gonna be using them because guess what we're going to have some on hand on deck right down here. So we ain't going to be using those anytime soon. Of course, Louisiana, my Louisiana Cajun season is going to go right there because that's my baby. <laughs> or she can go right, no, she can go where she is. I'm trying to stack. Yeah, I'm going to stack. Um... And then I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and put start putting um like my garlics and stuff. I just wanna be able to see them. Properly being placed. I hope you guys can see. You guys, I've been I'm so I'm so ready for my stuff to come in because it just keeps breaking and falling and whew. um and then my celery saw all oh, that can go right here bay leaves right there uh this is my garlic i use my garlic so i'm gonna put that right there <clears throat> and then we have our bacon ingredients Numbnig and then parsley, put that right there. Actually, what I want to do is just put bring out some of these things, put in the vanilla. Y'all, I'm very OOCD, like, I want everything to match and be put in order. And I need a little room there. <sighs> and then I'm going to place the numb neg. We already got our bay leaves and celery in one spot. And then I'm going to put the active yeast right there. Let's see my garlic and my parsley flakes. I got garlic right there so I'll put garlic on top there and then I'll put the parsley flakes on top of the um, I'll put the parsley flakes on top of the basil and then I gotta pick up that top off the floor <laughs> which the floor isn't dirty um, So we're gonna put there we go <laughs> we're gonna put this in there slowly 
because you guys make sure, yeah make sure you subscribe thumbs up this video um and clean right along with me because we can do this together my chili and my ground paprika put that there and then I have the steakhouse maple which I'm gonna put right there and then we have lemon pepper um what can I do with the lemon pepper I'll just bring my lemon pepper to the front and that's it you guys look at that we just made room in the cabinet a small pantry cabinet like if your uh, pantry cabinet is this small you guys you can do it like we just really deep decluttered it look at all that stuff in there <laughs> and oh yeah I forgot about the grits she forgot about the grits so I think the grits can go to the top like it could just sit right there because really that's a breakfast item or can I just sit it on top let's see there we go I sit it on top got the grits up there we got that going how you guys liking my seasoning cabinet oh plus our little season pack is inside of here. I'll find a spot for them. Um, but yes, you guys, they look so good in there. Like, it looks way better than it looked before. And I'm going to continue to keep this up. And um, yeah, I cannot wait. I can't wait to babe see this anyways. Because he, he be having a hard time trying to find stuff. And especially when he barbecuing and stuff. So, but next up what we're gonna do what we gonna do what we gonna clean next i don't know but whatever we clean one thing in our house whatever we clean we're gonna clean it okay whether it's the microwave the other cabinets in my house the top of the refrigerator the refrigerator dishwasher because y'all know i don't use that dishwasher but i store food and stuff not food but i store like uh all my extra places stuff in there and cups and all that stuff but Whatever we do, y'all, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. Bye.